Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about tax on savings account interest. Interest earned on savings accounts is considered taxable income by the government, and you must report it on your tax return. However, there are some limits on how much interest you have to pay tax on. Before we begin, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. We also have several videos on the channel that we know you will surely enjoy, so watch them after watching this video. For everything else, see the description box below. In this video, we'll discuss how tax on savings account interest works, who has to pay it, and how much you have to pay. We'll also talk about some of the exceptions to the rules, and how you can minimize your tax liability. How Tax on Savings Account Interest Works when you earn interest on your savings account, the bank or other financial institution will send you a 1099 a and form at the end of the year. This form will show the amount of interest you earned, and it's important to keep it for your tax records. The amount of interest you have to pay tax on depends on your income and your filing status. If you're single and your taxable income is less than $9,950 in 2023, you won't have to pay any tax on your savings account interest. If your taxable income is over $9,950, you'll have to pay tax on the interest that exceeds $9,950. For example, if you're single and your taxable income is $10,000, you'll have to pay tax on $50 of your savings account interest. This is because the first $9,950 of your interest is tax-free and the remaining $50 is taxable. Who has to pay tax on savings account interest? Not everyone has to pay tax on savings account interest. If you're below the age of 18, you won't have to pay tax on any interest you earn. You also won't have to pay tax on interest earned on a savings account if you're a dependent and your income is below the personal exemption amount. In addition, there are a number of other exceptions to the rules. For example, if you're a senior citizen and you're eligible for the saver's credit, you may be able to exclude some of your savings account interest from taxation. How to Minimize Your Tax Liability There are a few things you can do to minimize your tax liability on savings account interest. First, you can try to keep your taxable income below the threshold where you have to start paying tax on interest. This means making sure that you don't have too much income from other sources, such as wages, self-employment income, or capital gains. Second, you can consider opening a tax-free savings account. These accounts are available from some banks and financial institutions, and they allow you to earn interest on your savings without having to pay any tax on it. Finally, you can also consider investing your money in other types of investments, such as stocks or bonds. These investments may not offer the same level of liquidity as a savings account, but they can offer the potential for higher returns. In conclusion, tax on savings account interest is a complex issue. However, by understanding the rules and taking some steps to minimize your liability, you can save money on your taxes. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. 